In this video, we will talk about the key features introduced in Celsius Thermal Solver in the Systems Analysis 2021.1 release. You can now specify different initial temperature values for different objects in the design. To initialize the objects at different temperature values instead of the ambient temperature used for the rest of the project, disable the Use Ambient Temperature option for the object and specify a new temperature value. During analysis, the object is initialized at the specified temperature value instead of the ambient temperature used for the rest of the project. Materials with nonlinear properties are now supported in Celsius. To study the structural response of your design, Celsius provides you the option to define materials with nonlinear properties, such as viscoplastic, fatigue, and failure. You can now perform structural load analysis of your design. To study the effect of different loads on the deformation of materials and its impact on the simulation, Celsius lets you define nodal and surface loads as boundary conditions. You now have the option to define time-dependent ambient temperature in the Celsius fluid flow simulation. Instead of defining a constant ambient temperature for the entire simulation, you can now define time-dependent ambient temperature to model the scenarios where the ambient temperature can vary with time. Time-dependent flow rate and flow temperature for an opening on the chassis wall is now supported. While creating an opening you can define time-dependent flow rate curve and time-dependent temperature rate curve to model the scenarios, where the opening's inlet flow rate and or temperature can vary with time. You can now post-process your simulation results within the Celsius Thermal Solver interface. Instead of viewing your simulation results in a new pair of view window, you can plot the results a new pair of view instance within the Celsius Thermal Solver interface. This feature is available in both Celsius Solid Object Simulation for 3D structures and Celsius Fluid Flow Simulation modules. 2D and 3D probes are now supported in the Celsius Fluid Flow Simulation module. You can use 2D and 3D probes as a diagnostic tool to check the temperature, pressure, or velocity at specified locations, called nodes. After the simulation run, you can use the probing data to analyze the results. Let's have a quick recap of the new Celsius features. You have the option to specify different initial temperature values for different objects in the design. You can now define materials with nonlinear properties, such as viscoplasticity, fatigue, and failure in Celsius that helps you study the structural response of your design when using materials with a nonlinear stress strain relationship. Celsius lets you perform structural load analysis of your design by specifying nodal and surface loads as boundary conditions. This helps you study the effect of different loads on the deformation of materials and its impact on the simulation. For transient analysis, instead of defining a constant ambient temperature for the entire simulation, you can now define time-dependent ambient temperature. Celsius lets you define time-dependent flow rate and flow temperature for an opening on the chassis wall. This helps you model more realistic scenarios, where the opening's inlet flow rate and temperature can vary with time. You can now plot simulation results in a new pair of view instance within the Celsius Thermal Solver interface. You can add 2D and 3D probes in the Celsius Fluid Flow Simulation module to collect the 2D and 3D probe data. After the simulation run, you can use the probing data to analyze the results. Now that you know about the top features of Celsius, what are you waiting for? Go and download Systems Analysis 2021.1.